good afternoon uh, we are going to see the sums on body plot sketch the plot is showing the magnitude in decibels phase angle in degrees as a function of frequency in logarithmic scale for the transfer function given by g of s equal to 10 upon s multiplied by 1 plus 0.5 s multiplied by 1 plus 0.1 s and hence determine the gain margin and phase margin of the system here nowhere it is mentioned that uh, bode plot so we should know the meaning of bode plot bode plot means uh, x axis is in logarithmic scale y axis in decibel means it is bode plot so he is indirectly saying bode plot that's why a note is given in that sum draw bode plot the first step is uh, to draw the bode plot the very first step is uh, it should be in time constant form is it in time constant form yes yes it is in time constant form that's why uh, no problem you can take as such g of s equal to 10 upon s multiplied by 0.5 s plus 1 0.1 s plus 1 mm. then step 2 is uh, we have to write uh, frequency transfer function 10 upon j omega j 0.5 omega plus 1 j 0.1 omega plus 1 frequency transfer function then uh, the step 3 is uh, step 3 is uh, we have to find the corner frequencies corner frequencies are um, corner frequency one is uh, uh, one by point five one by point five that is equal to two and corner frequency two equal to one by point one equal to ten so two and ten are frequencies. So now we have to form the table factor then slope contributed by the factor in dB per dK net slope then we have to find the coordinates. The, we have to write the factors. Oh, one more, one more column. It is corner frequency. Corner frequency. Always the first factor is k ten by s. 10 by s. The next factor is uh, the corner frequency must be in uh, ascending order. So, first we have to write for 2, therefore 1 by 0.5 s plus 1. Mm, that is corner frequency is 2. The next factor is uh, 1 by 0.1 s plus 1. Here the corner frequency is 10. So the corner frequency, no corner frequency, 2, 10. The corner frequency must be in ascending order. Hmm. Ascending order. So what is the slope contributed by 10 by S? minus 20 dB per decade. Net slope also minus 20 dB. Again, 0.5 S plus 1. What is the slope contributed by? Minus 20. Therefore, net slope is 40. The slope contributed by this 1 by 0.1 1 plus uh, S is again minus 20. 
the total is 60 minus 60. Now we have to find the coordinates. We have to find the coordinates. Coordinates are what is the lowest corner frequency? Lowest corner frequency is 2. Therefore, we have to start with the point 1. Therefore, the coordinates here are point 1, comma. Here the coordinates are 2, comma. Here coordinates are 10, comma. And 100, comma. 10 and 100, comma. That's all. Now we have to find the coordinates. Here to find the coordinate 10 by j omega. This also can be written as 10 by j omega. So in both ways we can write. Hmm? Therefore, here the coordinate y2 equal to 20 log <coughs> modulus of g of j omega that is equal to 20 log k that is 10 by omega. That is equal to what? That is equal to 20 log coordinate is 0.1. 10 by 0.1. 10 divided by 0.1. That is equal to 20 log 100. That is if uh, 20 log 100 means uh, what you will get? 40 log 40 db. So it starts with 40 db starts with 40 d. Therefore, omega 1, y 1, omega 2, y 2 we have to find. This coordinate we have to find. y 2 equal to, we have to use the previous uh, slope. Therefore, minus 20 multiplied by log omega 2, 2 by 0 0.1 plus y 1 is 40. That is equal to that is equal to 14. Therefore, the coordinates are 2, 14. Then we have to find for 10. Then we have to find for 10. Therefore, omega y2 equal to slope. What is the previous slope for this? Uh, this is the previous slope. This is the previous slope. Therefore, minus 40 log omega 2 that is 10 divided by 2 plus y1 is 14 that is equal to minus 14 that is equal to minus 14 therefore the coordinate is minus 14 minus 14 now we have to find for 100 100 what is the slope 60 dB per decade, after one decade, minus 60, minus 14, minus 74. So we got uh, the, now we can draw the magnitude plot. What is the magnitude plot? Uh, we have to take axis from point 1, 1, 10, 100, thousand five hundred. So here <laughs> up to what is the first coordinate? First coordinate is point one comma forty. At the point one it is forty. Forty dB. That is log omega. Hmm. Next coordinate is two comma fourteen. 2 here here 2 comma 14 then this is 14 then next coordinate is 10 minus 14 10 minus 14 10 minus 14 then 100 minus 74 therefore the plot is like this. So this is the magnitude plot. Now we have to draw the phase plot. Phase plot, what is g of j omega? 
g of j omega equal to uh, what is the transfer function 10 upon 10 upon j omega 0.5 j omega plus 1 then 0.1 j omega plus 1 so what is angle of g of j omega therefore angle of g of j omega equal to for this angle is 0 for this angle is minus 90 minus 90 degree minus why minus because denominator tan inverse of 0.5 omega minus tan inverse of 0.1 omega that's all now we have to form a table for phase plot omega angle of g of j omega that is equal to first let us find for point one point one the angle is if you substitute here omega equal to point one you will get minus 93 then if you substitute zero what you will get omega equal to zero you will get to minus 90 as omega tends to zero angle g of j omega equal to minus 90 so it should be above minus 90 only so point one minus uh, minus uh, 93 then point one one equal to minus 21 minus 122 degree then uh, 10 minus 214 minus 214 degree 100 100 minus 264 minus 264 and infinity if we substitute infinity this also this tends to infinity you will get minus 90 if this tends to infinity you will get minus 90 so minus 270 you will get so it varies from minus 90 to minus 270 so now we have to draw the phase plot phase plot for phase plot it varies from minus 90 to minus 270. It will be looking like this. The actual plot is like this. Now we have to find the, what is the question? Find the gain margin and phase margin. Find the gain margin and phase margin of the system. How to find the um, <coughs> How to find gain margin and phase margin? To find gain margin, we have to draw a horizontal line at 180 degree. It meets at A. At A, draw a vertical line. At, at A, draw a vertical line. Mm. <coughs> draw a vertical line. It uh, meets here at B. Draw a horizontal line at B that gives the value minus 1.5 dB. Therefore, gain margin is gain margin equal to minus of minus 1.5 that is equal to 1.5. Gain margin. How to find a phase margin? At 0 dB, draw a line that will meet the magnitude plot at C draw a vertical line that will meet the phase plot at D. At D, what is the angle? You have to see that angle is minus 176. Therefore, phase margin equal to 180 minus 176. That is equal to 4 degree. Both are positive. Both are positive. Therefore, stable system. Stable system. One more thing we have to note here, the, the horizontal line, 180 degree horizontal line cuts the phase plot at A, that A is called omega P. 
PC phase crossover frequency. The point C, 0 dB line cuts the magnitude plot at C. The point C is called, the point C is called omega GC, gain crossover frequency. Gain crossover frequency. So, gain margin equal to my plus 1.5, phase margin equal to 4 degree. 